So I've got seven, so I'm not super heavy, but just they're just gonna weigh us down. So at that point too, you can always just ditch the weights and make it more of a balance challenge. So we're only using it for two exercises, but we're gonna start laying all the way back down on our backs. My name is Stephanie, we're here for Pilates. Let's just start by laying down and finding our breath here. So find a comfortable position. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you inhale, feeling that rib cage open. As you exhale, pull the rib cage together, belly button and spine. A few big breaths, find that 360 breathing. As you inhale, feeling everything expand. As you exhale, blowing all of the air out. Shoulders are nice and relaxed. We're pushing away the thoughts from outside and just focusing in here on our practice. Perfect. I'm gonna start with going right into a round of hundreds. So options for hundreds. You can keep your head down on the mat. You can curl up into a chest lift. Feet can stay on the ground. They can be at tabletop 90 or a challenge position. Arms go up to 90. We're gonna inhale, exhale. Hands come down to the hips. We start pumping for our hundreds. Breathing in, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, 20. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, 30. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, 40. Keep on pumping five or six inches deliberate pumps. We are halfway done at a challenge. If you'd like, keep the back imprinted. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, 70. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, 80. Chin to chest, no strain in the neck. In two, three, four, five. Out two, three, four, five, 90. Last set, breathe in. Last set, breathe out, set it on down, catch your breath. Going right into that hundreds, feeling the lung capacity there, that breathing, warming up our core. Perfect. Let's take the ball. Ball is gonna go um, right in between the knees, so the lower thighs there. The balls we have are pretty bouncy, so they feel pretty tight, but that's okay. All right right in between the knees, roll the shoulder blades down, find that neutral spine position, that pocket of air underneath the low back, little space under the low back, feet are parallel, little pressure on the ball. We're gonna start with a pelvic rock, so just finding that pelvic awareness. Inhale, neutral, exhale, press the low back down, tiny movement, tilt the pelvis forward, inhale back to neutral. Exhale, press the low back down, little squeeze on the ball, Inhale, back to neutral. So nothing's moving with the pelvis. We're just finding that pelvic awareness here. Strengthening the pelvic floor as well, finding that awareness. I'm gonna add some challenges on with our bridging. If you have back issues today, you can just hinge up into your bridge, lifting the hips and then setting them back down. I'm gonna cue articulation, so it's an inhale, exhale. Press the low back down, slowly roll up into your bridge, lifting the hips, squeeze the glutes. We're gonna lift the heels, heels set back down, inhale, exhale, nice and slow. Roll all the way down, the heel lift is optional. Inhale, exhale, nice and slow, rolling up into your bridge. Keep that squeeze on the ball, lift the heels, set the heels down, slowly roll back down. Continuing here, if you're feeling those hamstrings too much, Bring the feet in closer to your body, closer to the glutes. If you want more of a challenge, instead of having the hands right on the mat here, you can go into a 90 degree bend with the elbows, or you can take the arms all the way up to 90. I'm gonna do a few here with arms up to 90. Again, just flowing through that movement. We're warming up the back body, adding that heel lift in, feeling that in the calves. Perfect. Really try to engage those glutes. And on this next one, we're gonna hold up in that bridge. You decide where the arms are. Lift up the heels as an extra challenge. One inch up, one inch down. Little hip dips. Squeeze the glutes, keep the pressure on the ball. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Press up, heels come down, inhale. Exhale, nice and slow. 
roll all the way down. Take the ball into your hands. Legs can go up to 90. Get a little hamstring stretch here. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna do one more set of bridging. I'm gonna put the ball underneath the feet. If that is too much of a balance challenge, you take the ball right back between the knees where we had it before. Again, depending if you're wearing shoes or socks or what, this can be uncomfortable. If this doesn't work for you, you can always put the ball right back between the knees. Palms down, inhale, exhale, nice and slow. Maybe you just start rolling a few inches up. Inhale, exhale, rolling a few inches back down. Perfect, yep, you really gotta press heavy into the center of the ball. I've got legs squeezed together. I think that helps if you have the legs zipped together as you go, because you have to keep the legs together on the ball. Again, maybe just a few inches. Maybe you get to your full range. Maybe you lift the arms up to 90. Or maybe you take that ball back in between the knees. You're definitely gonna feel those hamstrings much more now in this position. Just a few more like this. Let's hold up in that bridge for five, four, three, two, one. Roll all the way down. Take the ball back into your hands. Another hamstring stretch. So again, really getting those hamstrings there. All right, ball is going to stay in the hands. Legs are going to come to a tabletop position. We're gonna move into a double leg stretch um, option. You either keep your head down the whole time or keep your head up the whole time. As we go, we're gonna be passing the ball hand to hand. So uh, I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna do two with head down and then I'll move into the chest up. Starting with the head down, ball is gonna come to the knees. You're gonna reach back, right hand has the ball, pass it to the left hand, knees tuck in, ball tucks in. Arms and legs go back, pass the ball over, knees come in, hands come in. If you have the chest lifts, you can do it just the same way. Ball passes when it's behind, knees tuck in. Reaching back, ball passes when it's behind, knees tuck in. You're gonna feel the core work here. Again, you decide what works for you. Head can stay down or head can stay up. We have a few more like this, breathing in. Breathing out, finding core work. Last one here. And set it on down. Take an inhale and an exhale. Clip the knees, sway side to side. We're gonna do that same movement, but different ball passing. So, ball's gonna go in between the ankles. Back to that tabletop position. Again, I'll do two with the head down, and then I'm gonna move into the chest lift. I'm gonna take the ball in to my hands as the knees come in, arms and legs reach. Ball comes back in, arms and legs reach. So just a pass, you take one with the ball, one without the ball, you're passing that ball between the ankles and the hands. You can add that chest lift if you'd like. Arms come up, doing that work there. We're passing it between the ankles and the hands. Still finding that same movement, breathing in, Breathing out, double leg stretch. Keep the back imprinted. Should feel those low transverse abdominals, but don't let the back arch. Let's do one more. Perfect. Bring it back in. Ball can come to the hands. Let's let the knees sway one direction as your gaze goes the other direction. Inhaling to center, exhaling to switch. Continuing here. Perfect, all right. We're gonna press our toes up to seated and then the ball's gonna go behind the shoulder blades. Two options here. Ball's right between the shoulder blades, kind of at that um, bra line there. We're gonna have forearms down is the first option but I still want you to have that C-curve, that top of the pelvis here. Option two would be hands behind the head. That's a little bit more intermediate. So you decide if you feel more stable with the arms down, you stay arms down. More of a challenge, hands come behind the head, but I don't want you pulling the head backward or forward. I want you to stay in a nice neutral position. 
We're gonna start with just some marching here, just to feel the work, and we're gonna alternate the feet. So one leg lowers as the other leg lifts, and I have toes pointed here. Staying up in that C curve, you're also balancing on the ball. Forearms can stay down if you want that modification. You should really feel those low abs here. Pull belly button to spine. Perfect. Pointing the toes as we go. And we're gonna hold up. Same thing. We're doing eight here, one at a time, pointing those toes for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet down, extend over the ball if that feels okay for the spine. Get that stretch, let the rib cage open up. All right, back to the same position. We're gonna do the same thing, but with a flexed foot. Again, if your core is starting to burn out, you can take the forearms here or hands behind the head. Feet are gonna be flexed now. Feet are flexed, it's gonna be like a heel tap. Same thing we just did, feet are flexed, still working that core, hands can always come down to the mat. Keep that belly button to spine, that C curve. Inhaling and exhaling, you're not pulling the head backward or forward, neck is in line with the spine. Perfect, you guys got this. We're gonna hold up, same thing, now the legs are up. Little heel taps for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, extend over the ball if that feels okay for the neck. All right, we're gonna add an oblique challenge on here. So, hands come behind the head. I'm gonna extend the right leg. Right leg is extended. I'm gonna scoop over left elbow to right knee, take it back out. Left elbow to right knee, extend back out. Finding that oblique, that rib to hip. You're still balancing on the ball here. That left leg stays still. Perfect, we're just going one direction. Let's hold in, scooping in for three, two, one. Set it down, extend over the ball. Take an inhale and an exhale. One more here. Now I come back into that chest lift. Left leg extends to 45, right leg is on the mat. It's a scoop in, right elbow to left knee. Extend back out. Perfect, if the ball does not feel comfortable, you can do this all without the ball. Perfect, finding that rib to hip, that oblique as you twist. Breathing in, breathing out. Perfect, let's do two more. On this last one we hold for five, four, three, two, one, extend back over the ball. And then if it feels okay, you can take that ball out, just feel the relief of the ball being gone. Lay on your back, let the knees sway side to side, take some big inhales and exhales. Perfect, ball comes in hands, legs extend to the mat. Little squeeze on the ball, inhale, exhale, chin to chest, C curve scoop. We're gonna roll all the way up, using our core here. Forward fold. Tuck the ball by your weights. We go four point kneeling when you're ready. Four point kneeling. Let's get a nice cat cow stretch. We just did a bunch of that flexion. So going between cat cow, getting that nice extension.
and then the ball is going to go underneath the left knee, hands come down to the mat. So ball is underneath the left knee, right leg is in front. If at any reason that balance challenge feels to be too much, you can do the same thing without the ball. So we're going to try to come up to standing here. So hands can come to the side, not standing, but to the side. Hands can come here, or hands can stay hovering off the mat. So you have different options. Hands can stay hovering off the mat. Here, here. We're just going to do a little lift off the ball, press the ball back down. Lift off the ball, press the ball back down. If the ball's not there, pretend the ball's there. So a little lift of the knee, set it back down. Hands can stay here, you can do the same thing. Just lifting that knee up off the ball, setting it back down, it creates a balance challenge here. You guys got it, we're not gonna be here for long. <laughs> we're here for five, four, three, two, one. Hands come back down to the mat. Good job, guys. I'm gonna take that ball. Um, let's go. Let's just let the ball move away and we'll press into a down dog position. So ball can move, press into that down dog position. Pedal the legs out if that feels good. And then walk feet to hands, inhale. Exhale nice and slow, roll all the way back up. All right, ball's gonna come to hands. We're gonna do a little warm up here. So we just had the ball underneath the left knee. I'm gonna go to the left side here. So I'm gonna go side lunge to the left and I'm gonna pass the ball. So just like this, ball comes to the side, bring it back up. Ball comes to the side, bring it back up. Stepping out, finding that little side lunge, bringing it back up, just inhaling and exhaling here. A little warm up, getting the heart rate up, finding that side lunge position, and we're just passing the ball. Perfect. Looks good. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back, shake it out. All right, still working the left side. I'm gonna set the ball down and we're gonna grab those weights. All right, again, weights are always optional. If they get to be too much at any point, just ditch them. So, working that left leg still, that's the one that had the ball. I'm gonna have left foot forward, right foot back. Two options here. First option, you just find that deadlift over that knee, stand it back up. So, it's kind of a gentle bend in that front knee. We're gonna bend into that knee, Feeling that left leg, left glute, stand back up. If you want to add on, as you lower, you lift the foot off the mat. As you come up, foot comes back down. Lowering, finding your balance, and then bringing it back up. Again, if the balance is too much, you just find the leg work. going into an external rotation here. If two weights is too much, you uh, drop a weight or do it without the weights. We're just gonna do some squats with the weights here. So they're just creating that extra weight as you find your external rotation squat. Perfect. Breathing in, breathing out. We're gonna add you squat, lift up onto the toes. Squat, lift up on the toes as you stand. Squat, lift up on the toes. You guys got this. Let's hold our squat for five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Shake it out, I'm gonna reverse the whole sequence. So we'll keep those weights in hand. Now right foot forward left foot back. Again, option one, deadlift over that right knee, bring it back up. You really want to feel that weight and 
and then press back up. You can add that leg coming up, finding that balance challenge if you'd like. Up to you. It should feel heavy on that right leg. All right, let's go through some side work. So I'm gonna have to turn away from some of you, but the ball's gonna go underneath the side, and then you can be propped up on the forearm, or you can be down to the elbow, either one, and then legs go out to the side. Ball's underneath the side. Again, if that doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can always do it without the ball. I'm gonna take, you can keep top hand here, or top hand can come behind the head, but I want hip stacked, Shoulders stacked, perfect. We're gonna lift up that top leg. Finding length, we're gonna draw a rainbow. It's gonna be a tap in front, a tap in back. Tap in front, if you're not balanced, take the hand here. If you want a different option, you could go here. Lots of options here. Try to keep the top half nice and stable as you find these rainbows. It's a little tap, tiny tap, you're not letting the toe Rest, you're drawing that rainbow shape and you're keeping the leg nice and parallel. Work in this top leg, top glute, side body. Inhaling and exhaling, good job guys. Let's add a hot potato. It's a tap, 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 little taps. Two taps each side. Breathing in, breathing out, you got it. Try to key, use your core to keep the top half nice and stable. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back. We're gonna take the ball out. Bend the knees, 90 degree bend. Ball's gonna go top knee. I'm gonna stay on the forearm. Elbow is also an option. All right. <clears throat> um, hand can go back here if that feels good for you. You're gonna open clamp. Then you're gonna take the leg back, bring it back in, 
bring it down, close. Open clam, take it back behind, bring it in, tap it down. So it's like an open, bring it back, in, close. You should feel that top leg, that top glute. Keep that pressure on the ball. Keep squeezing the ball as you go. You should really feel that top glute now if you're squeezing the ball. Breathing in, breathing out. The lift, press back, bring it in and close. We are almost done, push through. Burn out that top glute here. We're gonna hold back, squeeze the ball for five, four, three, two, one. Take the ball out. Get a little figure four for that leg so you can take the leg you just worked. Cross it over the other leg. Nice stretch. And then we'll go right to that other side. So we start with the ball underneath the side. Everything is nice and stacked up. Perfect, hand behind the elbow or down to the mat. You lift that top leg, we start with that rainbow, that tap, rainbow back. Tap, rainbow back, breathing in, breathing out. Nice and strong with that bottom shoulder. Top hand can help you with your balance or be behind the head. Perfect. Keeping everything parallel, we add that tap, tap, that hot potato, tap, 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 tap. Burning out that top glute here. Breathing in, breathing out, keep your form, keep pulling belly button to spine. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Take the ball out. Bend the knees, 90 degree bend. Ball goes on the top knee there, right behind the top knee. It's an open, press back, bring it in, close. Open, press back, bring it in, close. Almost like a fire hydrant feel here with the glute. Breathing in, breathing out, strengthening here. Perfect. We're gonna hold back, squeeze the ball for five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, rolling back up. We'll get that figure four stretch for the other leg. Good job, guys. A little pretzel stretch. a little plank series here. So um, I'm gonna start four point kneeling here. Ball is underneath the right hand. All right, I'm gonna do it a few times with knees down and then we're gonna add challenges on it. So ball's underneath the right hand, left hand's on the mat. I'm gonna press down on the ball four times. One, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna roll it over to the left hand, right hand comes down. Press down on the ball. One, two, three, four. Roll it over to the other side. Little presses and roll it back and forth. So this seems simple enough. Little rolls. We're gonna add on. Option to hover the knees. You're gonna lose little squeezes on the ball. Roll it over, switch. Little squeezes on the balls. You can always set the knees down at any point. You got it, it's tough. Don't lose the ball. Two, three, four. Roll it, two, three, four, couple more, you got it. Let's do one more like this. And then press down back, child's pose position. At any point, the knees could come down there or you can hover. All right, I'm gonna put ball now under um, the right ankle there.
All right, ball is underneath the right ankle. I'm gonna press out into a down dog. Down dog position like a pike, and then I'll press it back down to four point kneeling. So ball stays right by that right ankle. You press up, down dog, roll the ball back in, come back to your plank. If you want a more challenge, you roll back, into that down dog, you just hover as you come back. Pressing back, knee hovers, or it taps down. You guys got it, you can do it without the ball as well. Perfect. Let's do a few more like this. Flowing through this movement, last one. And knees come down, take the ball out. Press on back, child's pose. Nice stretch. that left ankle now, four point kneeling. You do it without the ball. Start by pressing up into that down dog position and then you come back to four point kneeling. Pressing up, down dog. You might have to adjust where the ball is to get it to roll how you want. Full body work here. If you're ready, you add on that knee hover. You press up into down dog, hovering as you come back in, crossing back, hovering. You guys got this nice and strong, full body. We are almost done here with this ball. Let's do two more. Last one. And then bring it on down. Find a nice child's pose position. Reaching those arms. Nice and long. Let's finish with just a little earthquake series and then we'll go into some stretches. So, ball's gonna go behind the tailbone. Knees are bent, feet flat. You're stacked up tall to start. So, shoulders over hips. You can take hands here. And take hands here. Legs can go straight if you want. Keep the feet heavy. Inhale, exhale. Z curve back over that ball. Find those shakes. Inhale, exhale. Come back up. Adjust the ball if you need. Pulling belly button to spine here. Good. We are going to hold back. Right arm up, down. Left arm up, down. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it forward, take an inhale and an exhale. We add on, inhale, exhale. Z curve back, find those shapes. Both arms up, down. You got it, keep that C curve, belly button to spine. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, forward fold, take an inhale and an exhale. Two more here when you're ready. Out in front, inhale, exhale. C curve, scoop, roll, we rotate to one side. Center, other side. Hold down in that C curve, feel those obliques. You guys got this, we're almost done for five. Four, three, two, one, bring it all the way forward. Last set. Arms come out in front. Inhale, exhale. Find that C curve. Right leg lift lower. Left leg lift lower. Almost done. Breathe in, breathe out. Adding that marching just like we did before. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Take it forward. Remove the ball. Butterfly the knees. Good job, guys. Let's take legs straight to the mat. Ball comes out in front. You roll down here. Cooling down your breath. Inhale, exhale, nice and slow. Pulling all the way down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, chin to chest. Press those heels. Squeeze 
took all the rolls all the way up two finger core two more like this rolling nice and slow inhale exhale chin to chest C curve up last one here inhale exhale nice and slow Tucking the tailbone one bone at a time down. Inhale, exhale, chin to chest, using your core. Perfect. I'm going to put ball between the ankles. Arms come out to a T, palms facing down. Still pulse, pulse to the right. Center, pulse, pulse to the left. Center, nice rotation stretch. Feel the oblique here as well. Little pressure on the ball. Keep the sit bones grounded. Perfect. And if you want to add on our saw up and over to one side, keep the finger pinky toe, pulse, pulse. Unflex, unrotate. Perfect. One more here. And then take that ball again. Butterfly to knees, forward fold. Extend the legs, ball out in front, rolling all the way down to our backs, nice and slow. Tuck the ball off to the side. Get a nice stretch here, take the right leg up to 90, reach behind the thigh or calf, point and flex the toe. Roll the ankle in one direction. Roll the ankle in the other direction. Take that leg out wide to the side. Bring it back to 90, cross it across. Back to 90, palms to the mat. We're gonna draw big swooping circles, three in each direction with that right leg. One, using your breath, exhale, inhale. Exhale as you swoop and we reverse. Big swooping circles, feeling that on the hip, keeping the left hip nice and still. Press that left heel into the mat. Last one here. And bring that knee into your chest, little tug. We'll go other side, right leg down to the mat, left leg up to 90, point and flex the toe. that leg out to the side, wide V stretch. Back to 90, crossing it across. Back to 90, big swooping circles. Really reach the toe from the body, feeling those length with the leg. One more in this direction and we reverse. Last one here. And bring that knee into your chest, little tug. Reach the arms back behind the legs. Feel length in the body. Take the hands out to a T, palms facing up. A little snow angel here, palms face up a range that works for your shoulders. And then pausing, we take the arms up to 90, palms face each other, right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward, back to center. Scissoring the arms here. Palms together, palms face away, elbows tap down, reach back up, little chicken wing stretch, the front of the chest.
One more here. Palms face each other. Inhale, last roll up. Exhale, C curve scoop. Going all the way back up. We'll come forward, foot kneeling. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Thread the needle underneath that left shoulder. Nice stretch here. You can flow through the movement or hold up to you. Shoulder down for three, two, one. Back to four point kneeling, other side. And then holding that shoulder down if that feels okay. Back to four point kneeling, tuck the toes, pike the hips up to down dog, kettle the legs out. Walk from feet to hands, shifting weight to feet. Inhale, exhale, slowly roll up. One bone at a time. We'll inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Let your head hang heavy. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. Way side to side, that feels good. Pausing your movement, inhale, exhale, slowly roll up. One bone at a time. Inhale up. Exhale, back behind, little back bend. Exhale, hands away. Inhale, arms up. Go up and over, nice side stretch. the other way. Back to center. Exhale, hands away. Inhale, up. One more up and over. Let your head hang heavy. Maybe you shake your tail side to side. Maybe you pedal the legs out. Maybe you reach a little deeper. Inhale, exhale, slowly roll up. One more at a time. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands away. Inhale, up. Exhale, blow the air out. Last one, up. And remember, you guys are all set. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have a great weekend.